And that means things have been boiling up for a while. That decision a couple of days ago, big three-point shot. Obviously, there's been problems within the program. Ziakuda into the game, the walk-on, number 31. With Johnson's departure, not a lot of point guard depth. Here's William Jeffers, the freshman block. That's Manny Bates, top shot blocker in the ACC. Hurt exploded for 37 against Louisville yesterday. This one turned over. Here comes Moore. Ahead to Seabron. Two-handed flush. An injury to their leading scorer, and this season has gone off the rails, but... You look at what they've done the last three games, three straight road wins, certainly the win against Virginia Wednesday. Well, playing hard, down double figures. They don't want it to get away from them going into half. Gerald the drum goal into the game, and Terrell Brown. I'm not. You're it's not. just their defense needs to continue to grow. Everybody talks about Virginia, they talk defense first. In, in my opinion, they're better offensively this season than they are defensively. I like this team. Now Champagny has not had many touches in the second half. Makes the most of that one. Seven points. Beverly to Funderburk. Funderburk gets it back. The no look made by Shaquille Moore. Battle for the rebound. Funderburk got tied up with Jeffress. No call. Jeffress. Hits the three at the other end and Pitt within three. I think he's the MVP of that team. But when you're talking about player of the year, I think Moses is right. You mentioned his numbers. Undersized four playing the five. How about Beverly to drop off to Thunderbird? NC State switching a lot of screens. Champagne down low to Brown. Terrell Brown's got eight. Odakali drops it off for Brown, who's blocked from behind. Manny Bates, the cancellation. Final seconds. Odakali, that's just bookkeeping. NC State wins it 65-62. The Wolfpack.